Hello, Alina here from Exclamate Mastery, and today I'd like to talk about pricing changes. So I've heard from many of you out in the field that the material costs of shingles and felt and other components of a roof, um, some exterior siding stuff is going up in price 20 to 30% in some areas. So they're getting these letters from their suppliers stating that the pricing is going up. There's um, kind of a trade war thing going on. We've also got um, a limited amount of asphalt for some reason that's maybe, you know, related to the trade war. I don't know enough about it, but I do know that there's also scarcity due to all the hailstorms that have hit too. So there's uh, quite a few factors working into this and, uh, um, I just wanted to show you today if you have uh, Xactimate really low in the pricing because they only do their surveys uh, per month on a monthly basis. If you notice uh, the price changes, the price lists only come out per every month and they may not be able to keep up. And it's not that they're not trying, it's that they um, do their research in a way that they're kind of a month behind. And so you might find that you need to change the material or maybe even a labor unit price out there. And I wanted to show you how to save it on a macro but I can't because I have X1 and I was just told that I have to subscribe to exact contents in order to save a macro price change. Isn't that weird? That's so weird. So I'm going to show you um, how to do the price change and then hopefully you have desktop 28 um, or maybe the online version will work where you can save the price change um, and have that show up when you reapply it to a new estimate. I've also heard out in the field that if it's not saving the price change, to go hook up your account to exact analysis. So a lot of contractors, we don't use exact analysis, but uh, when you do the integration, and um, it's free by the way, I think to have exact analysis connected to your account, uh, then it's saving all the changes on exact analysis, meaning that your macro will have those description and price changes saved. So I hope that's true. I can't tell you because they said even if I downgraded to 28 right now, that my macros would still have to be, that I would have to subscribe to contents to have the macro price changes and description changes show up on my key code. Because I guess... I have a special key code that doesn't allow that. Makes no sense. Anyhow, so if you don't have your price changes showing up, go and uh, go to their eservicecenter.exactware.com, log in with your Xactimate login details, and then go search how to hook up to Exact Analysis or get on the live chat and have them send you the white paper on how to hook up your account to Exact Analysis. And I hope that you are able to save your macros with price changes. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. And then next week, I'm gonna talk about how to save priceless changes. Um, again, if you have X1, can't do it. You kind of have desktop 28 in order to save an actual priceless change. But I uh, just want to give you a preview of what we're going to be talking about next week because I think this is a hot button issue in the industry right now. So let's take a look at how to look at our line item pricing. So here I am in an estimate, I'm in the estimate items tab and I'm looking at the line items for remove and replace the shingles. So there's a couple different ways to fi figure out what the pricing is. Let's say that the shingles have increased uh, 20% and we only want to increase the shingles, maybe the felt, the nails and all that other stuff we don't really want to touch. There's a couple different ways to find out what shingles only or felt only is being priced at here in Xactimate. So the first place you can go is if you go to this little eye here, you can see your material cost right there. It says 96.75, but it doesn't break down what the details are. If you go down here, down below where it says details, then you can take a look at that composition shingle is going to be, the laminate shingle, is gonna be priced at 87.058 cents, which is very interesting. Now, to my knowledge, there isn't a way to really edit it here that makes any sense. I am an X1, so 28 might look different, guys. So if you're seeing something different, great. But there isn't really a, gr a good way to increase the pricing of the shingle itself or even the felt itself right here. So where I would go is over to your components. So whatever folder or 
area. So I sketched this roof. So I actually have a roof here that highlighted that I've added these items to. You have to have that highlighted first, then you can go to the components. And it's only going to be the components of whatever's included here in what you have selected on your grouping tree. So if I go over to components, you'll see it broken down by equipment, materials, and labor. So you've got your three sections there. Then I can go into the RFG 300, double click, and it will allow me to change the pricing here. Let's just round it off to an even $100 and see what happens to our line item pricing. You'll see that the price turns green there. Do not be alarmed. That's just an Xactimate setting showing that the price change has been made. We go back to items and you'll see here also that my price is in green. And if I go back into that little eye next to the pricing, by the way, if you need to get to your unit price, all you need to do is click on the button here or click on unit price over to the right. We're gonna go into the little eye to drill down and you can see that the material has been increased there and you can see that reflected in the details section that can be dropped down here in X1. So that's how you make the pricing on your felt, on your shingles by going over to components and changing the pricing over here. You can also double click on this and then I'll pull up a little box here that gives you your component costs. So either way, whether you wanna use the little drop down, that's not working for you, double click on that line item in components and you'll be able to edit that particular materials price. I really wish I could save this to macro right now, but again, I have to have exact content subscription in order to do that. So if you have 28, go and hook up to exact analysis. Let me know if that works for you in the comments below. I'm really curious to see because they said, even if I downgrade, I'm still not gonna have access. So I would love to know if you guys, when you hook up to exact analysis, whether you can save even your description changes. If I wanted to put in here, um, you know, price change, or something like that as a description you'll see it'll change to green and that will not save on my macro either so when i need to rename something or make a tweak to the description it's uh would be nice to be able to save all of this information so let me know if hooking up to that exact analysis in version 28 will work for you i would love to hear the results go to eservice.exactware.com and just search there on how to hook up to exact analysis and, or again just use their chat it's available free 24 7 for you if you like this topic please go ahead and press the like button below and then also please subscribe to this channel i release new content every tuesday and your likes and subscribes are like gold to me and i appreciate them very much for more information on Eximate Mastery and the training we have for contractors, supplementing, and all other kinds of fun stuff, go visit my website at www.eximatemastery.com. Hope you're having a great week in your business, and I'll see you next week.